welcome to codeval tech in last session we have discussed about nested functions callback function today i will be explaining how to debug the code i will be using the code that we have written in the last session so before that what is debugging so debugging is the way of finding the errors in your code and check the code how efficiently it is written without wasting time we'll start and see how to debug the code i have the function i am removing all the calls how to run the html file right click and open it with live server and now if you go to app.js see here you have the function called add which accept two parameters and written the a plus b some of them so we are calling here result method and we are passing 10 comma 23 let's say you come passing 10 comma 10 so now what will the result 20 and if you go and see in the console how to see the console so pressing f12 will bring up the developer tools so now you can see 20 so there will be no surprise and it is working as expected so for example let's say you are defining the function here and calling here so but in some cases you will not be calling the same function where you defined so because you might call this function somewhere else and when you're passing you might fox accidentally like this 10 comma string 10 value you can pass in this case what will be the value 10 10 1010 so instead of 20 it is displaying 1010 so when you're working on the big projects so it is very difficult to find why the result is 1010 instead of 20 so for that purpose you can have to debug the code and you have to see what values you are receiving for a comma b and after summing up them what is the result so this everything you need to see uh, and this is very easy when you debug the code so how to debug the code in javascript press the f12 here we have the tab called sources click on the tab and you can see left side this is file systems the it will contain all the files that we are using in our application like in this html app.js and common.css and in bit in middle it will showing the and whatever the file you open that will show here and in left side you can see watch call stack so this one is showing. so these three are very important so now i'll just hide the file system and we see how the debugging works and how the watch call stack and scope work how to debug the code so in order to debug the code we need to put the breakpoint just click next to the line click on here click on here like that so now we have kept the debug pointers so how to invoke the debug pointers when you call the function it automatically invoke so now if we just refresh it we can see the add method will be called now see the cursor came here because this is the function call that's why it came here first this is just statement if it is already compiled so it won't execute it it will come to function call directly so now press f10 f10 you press to step over which means to step over to the function or if you want to do the line by line execution you will press the f10 here you can see a comma b now if you mouse over you can see a 10 b 10 string 10 so now we come to know that one value is integer but another value is string and the sum of the a plus b will be 1010 and you can see the result now 101 this is how you can examine what is the wrong here press f 10 it will come here to the next function call and it will come here it will execute and it will go just click on this f8 so that we can come out of this execution now we'll see what is the watch yeah this is a very simple function so each time whenever you are calling function you need to go and mouse over then you need to see the values instead of that you can watch the value of the variables or some expressions using the watch this one the watch will show you value of the variables or expressions of the current execution so what does it mean again refresh the page so that the add function will be called now what you have to do to go to the function you need to press now since we have the debug pointer 
just you can press the F10 it come here now it is in the context of add function so now you can see watch so how to watch the A comma B click on the plus symbol nothing but adding watch expression click here type A and press enter you can see A is 10 the same way type B press enter A is 10 but which is string it will show these values and A comma B will available for this watch till we are in the context of the add function once you are come out of the context of the add function you can see A is not available B is not available so because we are come out of the function add and we are outside now so now we can see the result because the result is a global variable and it will always available till you complete the debugging process and till you go out of this execution so click on it and type result 1010 you can see some of the expressions also result is 1010 right so you can check what is the type of result also so type of result you can see string the same way using watch you can execute the expressions also like 10 plus 10 20 so it is nothing but watching expressions so we can execute the expressions and you can watch the value of variables and type of the variables and some other arithmetic operations also you can do using watch now we don't want to execute anything after this console statement you can press the f8 or you can click this button resume script execution or f8 and now i will change it to save as soon as save since we have already added the watch expressions they will be staying here now a10 b30 because we are in the execution of add and result is still undefined because it is, it is not yet completed the execution of this add method now you can see the result is 40 and a and b are not available as expected and type of result now we see number if you want to delete the expressions also you can do by clicking on this crash symbol now we'll see about call stack and scope and another way of debugging the code also and i'm removing the breakpoints here and i will put the breakpoints now here we just go and enable the console.log here now see as soon as i do since i put the breakpoint here it come here and we are at the say hi now if i press f10 what it will do it will step over the function call so now if i just press the f10 it will come to console log so it won't go inside it because we don't have the any break pointer here so without break pointer how to step into the say hi function that i will explain you now just, just click on it now again refresh the page now here it the say hi so to step into the another function you need to press F11. See now, without debug pointer, you can debug the say hi function. So using F11. Now, since we are in the say hi, just press F10, it will do step over, and which means line by line execution it will do. And after that, it will come to the next function call. Get full name. You can see here A is not available and B is not available and we, we don't require this and removing and watch also we have already seen how watch works so I am removing watch now we will focus on the call stack see now it is calling the say hi click on the anonymous it will come to the next function call and if I click on the say hi it will come here if you want to go step into this function we need to press the F 11 you can see it come here and get full name is the current call stack and say hi if you click on the say hi again it will come here we refresh the page and we came here now if we want to execute sorry if you want to debug this code we need to put the breakpoints but we don't put the breakpoints here but we would like to go and debug the it how to do it you can press the f11 so step into the function call 
to step into the function that we are calling see now count 0 and again it come to get full name to step into this function now we need to press again f11 key you came here wish and written wish and it will come here now and it will print the message so now till now it is at this console log only so you didn't press now you can see hello krishna now we'll see the scope and the breakpoints you can see here what are the breakpoints you put it will add here and it will show you what are all the available breakpoints can remove now now you can see the scope how the scope works just refresh f11 count equal to zero now you can see the local scope and uh, script and global scope this global scope is nothing but window object so it will have all the window object methods and global variables like uh, for example global variable result is the global variable so you can see the result variable here and it is 40 value still it is still because we are in the context of the execution so we can still see the value and now that is the global scope and script add function read function it is showing here and now count is zero which is local variable now because so count is local variable to the say hi function so it is showing the count is zero but it is not showing the wish because it is not yet get into this context and that's the reason it is not showing here so count is zero now f name is krishna because f name we are passing and l name also it will show venkata and uh, get full name function also it will show now to get into this function we need to press again f11 now we see count is now not in the scope of local because we are in the context of get full name and this is out of context this is no more local variable and now we in the context of the get full name that's why now this is a local variable and the value is undefined because we are not at execute that line now we can see which is a hello and this is the local variable and now as you can see this is the expression so I told you we can execute the expression using advance to copy it and open the var enter you can see the value of it hello Venkata Krishna so using function expression watch expression you can see the value like that as soon as I press now f10 it will come here get full name and it will show you the return value now it will show the return value also return value is hello Venkata Krishna the return value is hello Krishna Venkata now we are in the context of say hi that's the reason count is now become local variable and this is not in the context that's why it is not showing here at all now press f10 and you can see the message now and now message obviously global variable and here now local variables no local variables because we are now outside and you can see the global context only here and in the global context you can see the message so remember f8 you use to resume our pass the script execution and f10 we will use to do the line by line execution and to step over the function execution and f11 we use to step into the function execution we will see how this callback function works i change the code little bit i put the debug pointer here save it and it will come here now get user input and greetings is the function we are passing it as a callback function we need to press the f11 to get into the execution of get user input f11 and now we are calling this greet callback and if you need to press f11 again we come to the context of greeting function you can see the call stack also greeting see this is undefined so this point i will explain in in later video so what is this and why this is undefined here but why this is window here that is and now we put the debugger without putting the debug pointing also you can use the debugger command to pass the execution how to do that go to the code and let's say you want to put the debug pointer here and now as soon as you save it it will directly come here you see as you say save it it will come down so using the debugger you can pass the execution also you can directly come here without putting the debug pointer also but 
your developer tool must be open now debugger came but using debugger is not a good practice because here we have less number of code but, but in actual application you will have the so much code and if you put the debuggers and if you forget to remove the debuggers it will impact the application performance so you can see the debugger is paused so debugger using debugger is not good practice so avoid it you can use this button you can deactivate the debug pointers and if you put again it will activate it you can have the conditional breakpoints also so what are the conditional breakpoints so i want to execute this conditional breakpoint whenever the result equal 40 for example so click on it edit breakpoint you can write the expression here so expression you can write like result equal to equal to let's say 50 and enter so now this is conditional breakpoint it will show in this like like this and i have put the breakpoint here also now if i go and repress you can see this breakpoint hit and you can execute even though we have the breakpoint here it won't come here it will go out of the execution because this is conditional breakpoint so what is our condition so result equal to equal to 50 now i will pass the value i'll remove this breakpoint and I will pass the values instead of 10 come of 30 I will pass party so which value will be equal to 50 so now as soon as I save it it will go on to see because it is satisfied the condition so this is how you can put the conditional breakpoints also in the JavaScript if you want to remove you can click right click and remove breakpoint also when explaining upcoming topic we will go deeper about debugging about like what is the DOM breakpoints, global listeners, event listeners. So everything we will check. Now as of now, we have discussed watch and call stack, scope and breakpoint section. So these are very useful. Now we can know what is the local variable and what is the global available and how to watch the value of the variables and function calls, everything. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed and please refer to your friends. Thank you.